Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is once again my honor and privilege to be with you to provide you an update on your cooperative. As is my tradition, I will focus on three things. One, execution of the SWIFT strategy. Two, SWIFT's continued innovation and focus on the future. And three, leveraging the unique strength of our community. Let me take each one of those in turn. First, strategic execution. Banks are in a world of intense and intensifying competition. And it's coming from many directions. Fintechs, big tech, new technologies, and many more are challenging today's financial ecosystem. And of course, you know all this because you live it every day. But you also know firsthand that banks are equally leaning in hard on the future and significantly transforming the end client experience. We also see this at Swift. In fact, I'd like to point out a few inconvenient facts. When people ask me if banks are keeping pace with the changing times, allow me to talk a little bit about payments first. Most payments on today use GPI, and that means 50% reach end beneficiaries within five minutes. What impacts speed? An analysis of Swift GPI data earlier this year with the BIS found that payments spend noticeably more time at the beneficiary leg than in flight first leg. In fact, more than 80% of the process time is at the beneficiary leg because of factors like capital controls and operating hours. And there's another important point. The research confirmed that cross-border payments on SWIFT involve typically one intermediary, again contradicting some misconceptions, and payments with three or more represent less than 1% of SWIFT's total volume. The point with all these stats is to underscore just how much our industry has transformed the payments experience and the strong foundations we have put in place. SWIFT strategy is building on this and goes even further to enable instant and frictionless payments and securities transactions from account to account anywhere in the world. And we're not just providing you with just one or two components either, but delivering a whole package that provides a seamless end-to-end -end experience for you and your end customers. This capability is unique to Swift, and we have been laser focused on the execution. Today, you can check on the security of your counterparties to make sure you are doing business with them. You can pre-check beneficiary account details to confirm upfront that a payment will get to its ultimate destination. Automatically spot potential anomalies you want to watch out for in-flight, handle problems that come up in real time, and maintain the visibility of your transaction all the way for you and your customers. And that is just on the high-value whole site either. Since we spoke this time last year, we are building great momentum on Swift Go that allows banks to get much more innovation and com competition space with their front-end offerings to small businesses and consumers for low-value payments. Read Swift in the back end. In the next few months, we'll make a huge advance in cross-border landscape as we activate Swift's transaction management capabilities. This is a step change in the way international transactions work taking us beyond sequential messaging to an API-driven orchestration layer which will power future services such as anomaly detection, data analytics, tracking, and exception management. And all of this powered by ISO 20022 rich data. The payments industry demanded this new standard to drive increased automation and in better customer experiences, and reduce processing exceptions. Now, you all have put in significant effort to get ready for this. 
with multi-year preparations in full swing. There are three levels to this. Swift readiness, community readiness, and MI readiness. Swift is prepared and looking at how we support you and the whole ecosystem. As, as we near the start of the migration window in November, we are looking at all kinds of what-ifs, as you would expect, to support execution, which must be impeccable, given the systemic implications of this transition. And we have also one more in the business side, securities. We see huge potential in securities as well. As you may know, securities is about 50% of our traffic, and it's an important part of our future. We're working closely with the industry players to tackle common pain points that create and that leads to fails. This includes work like the new Swift Securities View that we recently announced, with new transparency in the post-trade processing world. Underpinning all this, is our continued work in areas like financial crime clients and cybersecurity through the customer security program to help the industry achieve higher levels of efficiency and effectiveness. But as you know, I always like to cover three points. So let me just also emphasize that even as we execute faster than we ever have, we never lose focus on what matters the most, the security, the reliability and the resiliency of our network. This is absolutely fundamental to our franchise and where we make significant investments every year. And we have plans to do even more. Watch this space. And as you know, we are overseen by the G10 central banks, which underscores our unique role in the world and this further reinforces our strong commitment to innovating responsibly. Which brings me to my second point, our relentless focus on the future. Unfortunately, none of us has a crystal ball, but it's still vital that we prepare for the future. So we have to think in still different dimensions all at once. There are things we can predict with high levels of confidence. There are things that we think are maybe likely. Then there, of course, there are things that take us by complete surprise, like pandemics, that we're, while we can't say what nature they will take or if and when they will come, we still have to anticipate. SWIFT is constantly doing this, anticipating the things that could impact our community. In fact, as a global neutral cooperative owned by we are uniquely placed to build the foundations of the financial services industry. Now, I've already shared how our strategy is gearing up and setting up the industry for, sec for success <laughs> for decades to come. And the instant and frictionless future we know that we are preparing for. SWIFT also plays a vital role in identifying and evaluating emerging technologies and their business implications. We have a chief financial officer and an entire innovation team solely focused on this. And their work is even more important than ever before at this pivotal stage in the financial services digital transformation. Where we are innovating in multiple areas to anticipate how we can help you adapt and adopt different forms of value with a focus on interoperability. SWIFT is working across the industry with banks, central banks, market infrastructures, and regulators on numerous proofs of concept, and is closely examining emerging trends in areas such as central bank digital currencies, tokenized assets, where we just announced some breakthrough work, and the link market infrastructures to explore how it can support interoperability and enable the seamless flow of value. Of course, none of us alone can figure out the future. And with the forces of disruption that are out there, competitors, technological change, geopolitical shifts, 
economic turbulence, and so much more. There's a lot to keep us all awake at night. These are challenging, complex times, uncertain times. None of us knows what's beyond the horizon. But working together will put us in the best possible position when we get there. And this brings me to my final point, the strength of the SWIFT community. Amongst us, we have the talent, we have the technology, we have the financial resources. SWIFT, the cooperative that is focused on delivering for each and every one of you, we have the mechanisms and the will to solve for the future together. Our North Star is, and always will be, to focus on what our community needs from us. Remaining true to our core mission, which is to be a neutral provider, powering bank-centric futures at a scale and with a strong and unwavering focus on, same thing, security, reliability, resiliency. As you've heard me say so many times before, you get out of SWIFT what you put into it. And that it's important that you engage with us and the financial community, leveraging the services that will secure the foundations of our industry for the years to come, and can continue to challenge us with the opportunities you want to seize, so that together we can realize a faster, better, smarter, responsible future. So, in conclusion, allow me to reemphasize my three themes. Execution of the SWIFT strategy, continuous innovation and focus on the future, and the unique strength of our community. And in closing, my thanks go to the board and their tremendous engagement and governance during a ta challenging year, the NMGs, national member groups, for representing the communities worldwide. You are the heart and soul of SWIFT. And the entire SWIFT management team and SWIFT employees worldwide for their ongoing commitment, hard work, hard work and devotion. They really care at all. It is my personal honor and privilege to serve on your behalf as the chairman of the board of SWIFT. Thank you.